Hey guys, it's Phil from the No Guts and No Galaxy podcast. Today we're going to be doing a ride along video with the Hunchback HBK 4SP. This is actually a really, really versatile battle mech, and hopefully, you find this setup well to your liking. So let's go dive into the details. First off, speed 74.5 kph for this particular engine. We'll get to that in just a moment. Tonnage, it is a 50 ton mech. We are utilizing all the weights here. Firepower 38, which is a little bit higher than the bug zapper I've shown you before, and there's a few reasons why. Heat 1.24, so not bad. It's definitely manageable, and of course, in the skilled hands, you shouldn't shut down at all. Armor, we're using standard armor. We're using 320 out of 338. Structure, we're using endo steel, and you can get uh, the endo steel up here in the upgrade. You click and you upgrade. And soon this will all be uh, combined with the loadout and upgrades. Oh, it's going to be great. Armament. Two medium lasers, two streak twos, and two large lasers. Equipment. No jump jets. A standard 230. Double heat sinks 14. Hard points. Five energy. Two missile. One AMS. And module. Advanced sensor range. I would also recommend advanced target decay and 360 target retention. Let's go jump into the mech lab. Starting on the right arm, I've got a medium laser and a large laser. Right torso, a streak SRM2, two double heat sinks, center torso, obviously the standard engine 230, two tons of streak SRM ammo. Left torso, streak SRM2, two, two double heat sinks, and the left arm, a medium laser, large laser, and a double heat sink. I can actually put that heat sink. Let's go ahead and fix this real quick. And left torso. There we go. Oh, if you get it blown off, it's still there. Nothing in the cockpit, head, assembly, and nothing in the legs. Move on to the armor. This particular battle mech pretty much has maxed out armor across the board up until the legs. I've only got 39 out of 48 on both legs, left and right. Now, a lot of people may want to adjust their rear armor. I use 8 in the uh, left and right, and 10 in the center. You can easily adjust this to whatever you feel like. All right, guys, and that's it for this particular battle mech in the mech lab. We're going to go ahead and dive into a match and show you how to utilize this. All right, guys, it's Phil, and I'm in the Hunchback 4SP. Two large lasers, two medium, two streak twos. We are on a forest colony, and it is assault. So, yes, uh, on to the match. Obviously, I don't want to rush out here just by myself. Because I've got a flame, flame, and a cataphract. Looks like three delta. DDC jumping down the mountains. All right, here we go. Thing you want to watch out for. You want to face just directly down this pipeline here. All right, we already got a target out here in the water. Two targets out in the water. Wow, hunchbacks. Okay. Hunchback with. Wow. Alright, income missile. I'll back up there. That's what I'll do. True story. Alright, now the effective range is 450 meters or up to 0 meters where you do maximum damage. Ooh, wow. C4. That's a lot of missiles. Um, you can do more dam or damage outside of 450 meters. Just be aware that you're doing reduced damage. Seven D. Okay, he's got a uh, twenty. I have to be concerned with him. And there's his buddy. More concerned with his buddy there than. I'm gonna go help out with this four SP over here. Let's go for him. Yeah, we got backup. All right, here we go. There are two of them. Here we go, here we go. This guy's 
guy is actually almost licked, so I'm going to go ahead and like him. And those SRMs do hurt. That is alright. Wow! This little support. He shut down. And finishing a killing blow. There you have it. And that freaking catapult. Just launching missiles. Holy crap. Let's go take care of this Atlas real quick. Utilize the range. Go for that uh, torso. Yeah, he's rethinking that. He is getting knocked out really quick. He's down, switching over to golf. Like I said, you do have to watch your heat a little bit with this particular build, but it is not too shabby. You can always switch to chain fire if needed. Utilize the medium lasers and the streaks to help you cool down. Obviously, you can cut your speed down to to decrease your heat. All right, let's go take care of these uh, battle mechs over here. We have to be careful; those SRMs will wreck your day. Target acquired. Wreck your day. Speaking of which, we're going to go after Delta here. Delta, alright. He's trying to flank us. Let's see what we got over here. Stalker. LRMs as well. The LRM love. Holy crap. Because our tugger nut's getting hit up from there. I want to support him if I can. Disappeared, which might mean ECM. So I'm gonna go help him really quick. Oh, yep, he's back. So what happened to him? I don't know. Maybe he just shut down. Who knows? All right, we're flanking. We have to watch out for those long-range missile boats. The stalker and the catapult are still there. Let's go ahead and move in here. Dragon, he'll be coming right into us. Oh, they just leveled it up. Well, about to level it up. This is one thing you just sort of have to watch out for. Arm is gone. And here we go. Oh, and of course, Stalker wants to shoot me. Bad Stalker. Let's go to this guy's uh, flank. Still want to be careful. Man, he's got, these things have so much weapon. You just can't look away. Like, I mean, you just ignore him. Give him your, your flank. You're going to suffer. And there you have it. Tugger Nuts gets the last guild. Scope 66. Six dies. 666. Anyways, guys, hope you found this to be a fun build. I like it. It's definitely different. You got to play it a little bit different, um, but you can definitely put out some damage in the right hands. And of course, you got to watch the heat a little bit. But other than that, eh, you know, it's one of those builds that I really like to play. It's fun. So hopefully you find as much success as I did. Until next time, Mech Warriors. Bye. Studios around the world.